Hey, how's it going? We are in Proverbs chapter 12. We'll read verses 10 through 16. So here we go. Proverbs 12, 10 through 16. A righteous man cares for the needs of his animal, but the kindest acts of the wicked are cruel. He who works his land will have abundant food, but he who chases fantasies lacks judgment. The wicked desire the plunder of evil men, but the root of the righteous flourishes. An evil man is trapped by his sinful talk, but a righteous man escapes trouble. From the fruit of his lips a man is filled with good things, as surely as the work of his hands rewards him. The way of a fool seems right to him, but a wise man listens to advice. A fool shows his annoyance at once, but a prudent man overlooks insult. So, there we go. Man, there's a bunch of good ones here. Verse 10, we got animal rights, man. A righteous man cares for the needs of his animal, uh, in contrast to, but the kindest acts of the wicked are cruel. So, somebody who's righteous, who does right, cares about his animals, you know, cares about those who are not seen as important as him. Um, but even the kindest things of the wicked are cruel and hurtful to others. So, you know, it's important. We need to, we need to um, extend our kindness and our care beyond, you know, those who can help us or whatever. But, but you know, animals, other people... Let's just have kindness in our hearts towards all of God's creation. Uh, and then verse 11, my notes here. It's not complicated. Get a job, work diligently, and be smart with your money. <laughs> what is it? Uh, he who works his land will have abundant food, but he who chases fantasies lacks judgment. So, yeah, work your land. You know, that's not real flashy. That's not all that exciting. Go ahead and take care of business. Work hard. Be diligent. But he who chases fantasies lacks judgment. So, you know, if you think you've, you've cracked the code and now you're going to change the world and you're going to get rich and become a billionaire, well, I hope so. Um, but, you know, maybe don't quit your day job until you've seen some real evidence that something is going to happen there. Because I've seen a lot of people chase after, you know, a scheme, an idea, and it just doesn't go anywhere and they end up losing money and it, it just doesn't help. So... He who works his hand will, I'm sorry, he who works his land will have abundant food. All right, uh, 12. The wicked desire the plunder of evil men, but the root of the righteous flourishes. You know, back to verse 11. Chasing fantasies lacks judgment. If you're wicked, you desire the plunder of evil men. Um, don't think that evil people who have done well in worldly standards, you know, who've gotten a lot of money, don't don't envy that person. Their life is terrible too. You know, I mean, they maybe have some selfish needs that are met, um, but it's not good. It's not a good place to be. It's not a place of honor. It's not a place where you're valuing others and making other people's lives better. So you don't want to desire the plunder of evil men. That's not where you want to be. And then verse 13, an evil man is trapped by his sinful talk, but a righteous man escapes trouble. So the evil person is trapped by what he says, says sinful things, but the righteous man escapes trouble, meaning that when what you say is trustworthy and the investigation happens, then it's going to work out for you because you're going to escape trouble. Verse 14, which I think I'm going to tie into tomorrow's devotion but from the fruit of his lips, a man is filled with good things as surely as the work of his hands reward him. So when you say the right things, that can be a benefit, just like working your land, providing abundant food, saying the right things, um, having, you know, speaking life, having kindness uh, in your words, huge stuff. But I think verse 15 of all these verses, uh, you know, they're all great, but verse 15 is powerful. The way of a fool seems right to him, but a wise man listens to advice. Of course we all think we're right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, otherwise you would change and you'd just change your opinion, you know. Uh, 
everyone thinks they're right. And what should we say here? Uh, and nobody is. I mean, you can be right enough. Um, but as far as having a complete and full understanding of everything that's going on, all the dynamics, and you're making the perfect decision, it's very unlikely. Very, very unlikely. Uh, everyone, you know, doesn't see the entire picture. So if you think you're 100% right and wow, have you got it down, you're probably in that place where where the fool is. The, the way of the fool seems right to him, but a wise man listens to advice. Man, can you still consider what other people have to, stay, to say and learn and grow? If you can, that's fantastic. And then 16, a fool shows his annoyance at once. So the fool, you know, ah, you know they just get upset right away. Uh, but a false, I'm sorry, but a prudent man overlooks an insult. Prudent man overlooks an insult. I think this is beyond just like doesn't say anything about it, but, you know, just lets it go. Yeah, well, okay, I'm not going to be annoyed by that. I'm just going to let that one go. You know, kind of a turn the other cheek sort of a perspective. So um, I don't think the prudent man just hides their dark feelings, but is able to, in their heart, turn the other cheek and let the insult go. So let's pray along verse 15's lines. The way of a fool seems right to him, but a wise man listens to advice. Let's have the wisdom to look and see if we're wrong, to consider other people's perspectives, and to learn from others. Um, there's so much to learn from other people. You know, let's just go ahead and do that. You know, not just be convinced that we're right, but go ahead and learn and grab hold of greater understanding, if not uh, a whole course correction. So, let's pray. Heavenly Father, let us not be like the fool who thinks his way is right, but who is off base. Lord, help us to seek the counsel of others. Help us to truly be open to correction and learning. And that just makes everything so much better. So, Father, help us to have that wisdom, not to be prideful and think that we got it all figured out, but have our hearts truly open and be able to be led into a greater understanding by other people. So, Father, bless us with this. In Jesus' name, amen.